Hi guys, this is just a quick video specifically going out to our subscribers on our YouTube channel. Thank you ever so much for your support so far. Uh, the subscriptions are slowly rolling in and they're gaining steam. We're getting a lot of comments, which is good. I always try to reply. I do want to try and be an active poster on YouTube, so if uh, people ask questions or maybe challenge something we say, we'll respond. Uh, we don't want to be one of these guys to just throw something up and then just forgets about it, you know. We are an active shop, we're interested in your thoughts and opinions. Um, we've been developing the different series as, as we go, whether that be the introducing, intermediate or advanced, and also the mini series as we've done on stress and some of the guide videos on genetics and such like as well. Um, we've had a comment come, I thought it should be addressed, why we decided to maybe compartmentalize the animals that we've been doing into beginner intermediate and advanced how we decide to make those choices um, it all really started when working back in the shop uh, I just noticed an inordinate amount of people that were coming in for their first snake and they just seemed so locked on to the idea that it had to be a corn snake or it had to be a royal python that all other options were off the table and to me that was a crying shame being a keeper since 1990 I've seen the amount of stock diversity within the hobby drop off species that were once commonplace are now considered rarities and fetching inordinate amounts of money because people aren't working with them anymore thankfully not all of those species are in that position and some can still be bought for very modest amounts of money so in the development of the introducing series I've covered roughly 80 species which would make perfectly good beginner species as adequate alternates to a corn snake or to a royal python. It was from there then that the logical next step was to do beginner lizards or um, intermediate snakes or advanced snakes etc etc and we just followed on. The variables that should be considered for say a beginner or, or an introducing series animal is uh, hardiness, uh, willingness to cope with environmental errors without just dropping dead or developing a respiratory infection, willingness to feed, a calm and tame and placid nature uh, with willingness to adapt to being handled. Obviously what then makes an intermediate level animal is maybe that they are a little bit more pissy and huffy and don't want to sit still or sometimes outright aggressive. Uh, humidity is another variable that therefore needs to be maintained the same way a thermostat maintains the temperature to help them shed their skin. Some animals, if the humidity is not maintained properly, they're going to develop respiratory infections, etc., etc. So these variables are how we decide which bracket they fall into. Now, obviously, one of the, the, the comments was like, well, you know, it's kind of like collateral damage, people trading up, getting rid of their first snake. To be honest, with the amount of snake keepers that we meet, meeting people that only have one snake is actually relatively rare your beginners with your introducing yeah but invariably people move on they don't necessarily just get shut of the first animal but they are testing themselves developing themselves you know there are situations like if we have baby carpet pythons and stock they're grumpy little shits that just want to bite and would i sell them to a beginner who is petrified of the idea of a corn snake biting them well no not in that situation uh, we would maybe review it based on the way a, 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 a prospective keeper is with confidence, the research they've done, and that would help us try and place them with the correct animal. But obviously doing it online, I don't know what you keep, I don't know how experienced you are, what research you've done. Obviously if you're watching these kind of videos, good on you, you're doing your reading, your research, you're watching your videos, you're trying to develop that knowledge base prior to buying it, you're doing it the right way around. Uh, but not everybody's like that. And that's why we kind of made this decision to make it easier, bite-sized chunks, be able to try and grade them into the different levels to make it easier for you. Um, and that's kind of our, our thought process behind it. Uh, we've got a lot of people that have been subscribing from over the pond in America. Uh, for those that don't know, we are an active reptile shop in Sheffield in England. Uh, if you go on Facebook and search for Snakes and Adders, you'll find our business page. You'll see the stock that we're working with. We also do videos of the stock that we have currently in the shop. Um, and we also have a, a standalone uh, videos page, which are these videos on Facebook as well. Um, so if you could give us a like and subscribe, 
also in the comments if you want to tell us maybe species that you'd like us to cover in the future as they come into stock we will cover them the early videos it was almost like a, a work in progress and i was sat in my dining room just talking about them now uh, i'm doing the videos when we've got stuff in stock people like to see the animals as examples when when we're doing the videos so sometimes it will be a bit sporadic which one i'm covering whether it's advanced intermediate a lizard a, a frog a, whatever but it will be as they come to me and we stop them that i will then uh, do the videos but if give us an idea of what you'd like to see i know that people want us to do a green tree python one bear with us we're waiting for them to come back in stock and as soon as they do we will be doing a green tree one because there are some huge common errors that people make with this delicate species so uh, visit the website which is www.snakesnaders.co.uk don't forget to like and subscribe and tell us what you want to see in the future in the comments below cheers guys